and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making my, I should say poor man's uh, chow mein. And so I'm just going to get started here. And I've got a pound of hamburger already cooking up right here. And it's almost done. Just going to brown this up a little bit. And then also I have in this pan over here, um, some rice a stir fry that I make with our dinner. So we have chow mein and stir fry rice. So I've got that cooking here, and then this here is almost done. Um, this is really fast, easy, uh, simple, and cheap. So I know with today's economy, a lot of people try to save money, you know, and I, um, I use a lot of hamburger to my dishes. It's just that um, meat is getting so outrageous. I mean, I'm almost scared to buy meat these days when I go to the grocery store. So, um, if you like cooking cheap, easy meals, that'll feed. Like I said, a lot of people, um, I, I usually cook for at least six people. And I know it's just me and my husband, but that's all I've done my whole life. I mean, my mom had, you know, a big family of six, and then... When she married my stepdad, another couple of kids came along, you know. So we had a lot of people in our family um, to make food for. And uh, so, yeah. So this here will probably, I'm thinking will probably feed about four or five people maybe. Um, if you want to feed more, maybe you'll just have to go buy a couple more uh, cans of these vegetables that I um, grabbed from the grocery store. And it's a just a mix stir fry vegetables, and so and these are really not too bad. They're about a dollar fifty, I think, per can. And these here were only maybe a dollar, I think, or something. And then you got your hamburger, so it's a really cheap, easy meal. So um, I'm going to drain off our hamburger here. And it looks like it's pretty well done. So we're going to drain this really fast. And I do like to rinse my hamburger off just to get all the fat off of it. Okay, so we put our hamburger back in our frying pan here. And we are going to add two of these cans of the stir-fry mixed vegetables. And they will come with water in them, so just go ahead and drain the water out of them. And there's quite a few... Uh, stir fry vegetables in here. So. so it looks like it's quite a bit. I think I'm going to put it into a bigger pan. Oh, here we go. Like I said, I cook for a lot of people. I've just always done that and I just haven't, I mean, I try to cook for only just me and my husband, but it's like, <laughs> it's instilled in my brain, cook for six people, right? So, now to this mixture, we're going to add some soy sauce, just a couple of tablespoons, maybe about a fourth of a cup or so. Let's see. Stir this rice up. And this rice, you follow the directions. It only takes like 20 minutes or so if you've ever cooked rice around me. So. And then we're going to mix all this up here. Turn up the heat a little bit. Now you can add shrimp to this. You can add chicken, uh, pork, just whatever to your liking. And like I said, if you have more than about four or five people to feed for, just add another maybe can of vegetables. Okay. Get that 
all stirred up. going to let that cook for a few minutes. Go ahead and add some salt and pepper to it. This has water chestnuts in it. Um, some of them little teeny tiny baby corn. Um, carrots and I believe bean sprouts are in this too and you can also buy the fresh bean sprouts from the grocery store if you don't you know want to use the stuff out of the can so. but this is the way you know I make it because it's you know usually I I will use like uh, roast beef or steak and cut it into little cubes or um, breast of chicken just whatever to your liking and it's really good with shrimp too I like it with shrimp okay so we got that up it's coming up to a boil and you're going to want to cook this for about um, 10 minutes so it gets thoroughly cooked all the way through Okay, now this has been cooking for about 10 minutes, so we're going to shut it off. As you can see, it's uh, really, really hot. You, you want all your vegetables cooked through really good, so they're nice and hot. And so I'm just going to dish this up. There I go, making a mess again, right? <laughs> Seems like I always do. My goodness. And our rice is done, so we're going to put our rice off to the side here. And then you're going to take your can of La Choy chow mein noodles or whatever brand you want. We're going to open these up. And we're going to put these all over our chow mein. And there you have it. Quick, easy, fast, yummy, yummy chow mein with stir fried rice. And that's the end of my video. So I hope you guys all like it. Cheap, easy, fast, yummy meal. And so if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do and hit that thumbs up button for me because it really helps me out and ring the bell so you all get my notifications. You all have a wonderful night.